Welcome y'all, it's Wes with DIY Food Plot Pro. Thanks for joining us. Today I'm gonna show you how to get a no-till drill to plant all your food plots with for a hundred bucks. No, this is no clickbait. This is no BS. This is 100% honest and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So why would we need a no-till drill? A lot of us have ground like this. You can see this is we're on a significant hill right here. If we went out here and we pulled a chisel plow, the breaking plow, the tiller, and we work this ground right here, the first two, three inch rain that we're gonna have, we're gonna have gullies washed where our topsoils is washed away. That's no good for us, that's no good for the environment. If all your topsoil is gone, you're really gonna struggle to grow anything. So there are, there's a time and a place to be able to use a no-till drill. I use a lot of no-till on a lot of my food plot. Now you'll notice that on a lot of my videos, you're gonna see me disking and chiseling, breaking. That is for a couple of reasons. There are some plots that I believe firmly in working the ground, such as an alfalfa food plot. I do believe in, in using conventional tillage for something like that. And there's an awful lot of you guys that don't have a no-till drill, that don't have a tractor. And at that point, if I'm just showing you with a $50,000 piece of equipment, at that point, you're just kind of watching me food plot. You're not taking anything that I'm showing you and being able to replicate it on your farm. So I do a lot of conventional till because I know a lot of my viewers don't have a six row corn planter. They don't have a 10 foot no-till drill to plant all their brassicas and their cereal rye and their buckboard jokes, things like that. So that's why I use a lot of these things on my food plots, on my episodes. Okay, let's get into this, why you clicked on this video. How do we get a drill for a hundred bucks? In most all counties across the United States, you're gonna find something called the Soil Conservation Office. And what their goal is, is to minimize erosion, to minimize runoff, and to help people plant things on their farms. They are trying to help minimize erosion, runoff, all those bad things that happen uh, when we start working the ground, chiseling and breaking. So a lot of these agencies have a no-till drill or two that they rent. I contacted my soil conservation office this morning. The first thing that we all wanna know is how much does this cost? And he told me it was $100 uh, is the minimum charge. It's $10 per acre or $100 minimum. That is unbelievably dirt cheap when you're looking at these no-till planters being anywhere from ten dollars to $20,000. Another big concern that I had on these is maybe these things need a bigger tractor to be able to pull them more hydraulic remotes? These are some of the questions that I ask them for you guys. The answers I got, what horsepower tractor is needed? So a 45 horsepower tractor would be the minimum horsepower needed to, to run this no-till drill. How many hydraulic remotes does a tractor need to be able to run this no-till drill? And he said there is just one set of hydraulic remotes, which most of your tractors are gonna have two hydraulic remotes on them. And that's one set. So if you've got that, you're in good shape. So another important question that I ask him is what size seed attachment is there? If you're not familiar with no-till drills, you typically have two different seed size attachments that are available. You have a small seed attachment, which is for your clovers, your alfalfas, some of your brassicas, and then you've got a large seed attachment for something like your soybeans, your sunflowers, lab lab, things like that that are bigger seeds. And this thing has both of them. So you can plant all of your food plots with this thing. Okay, before I go any further, I want to take just a second and ask a huge favor. Please like this, share it, comment on it so that we can help as many food plotters as we possibly can. You don't see a lot of people talking about this and I think this really has the potential to help a ton of food plotter. Before I got on here, I made darn sure that this wasn't just a case in the state of Kentucky. So I have looked up Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And every one of these states has a similar program. Am I saying that every single county across all of these states has a no-till drill for rent? I'm not. But I'm saying that all these states have drills for rent. So it's likely there's one fairly close to you in your state that you can get and will save you a lot of time and effort being able to 
uh, no-till food plots instead of having to go out there and disc and disc and disc, especially on ground like it was behind us and you're just gonna lose a lot of soil and it's just not a good scenario disking this type of ground. So you need to try to contact your soil and water conservation agency or an NRCS office, the Farm Service Agency, Agricultural Extension Office, any of those agencies should be able to tell you, point you in the right direction of how, where do you need to go to be able to try to get you a no-till drill to put your food plots in on your farm. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like and subscribe button. Uh, we're DIY Food Plot Pro. We teach you everything there is to know about food plots and all the little nitty gritty details. Thank you guys.